Jack, uh, it would be good if you could explain how the uh, biodegradation actually occurs and how you get electricity. So effectively what happens inside the microbial fuel cell, I can show you what it looks like. It's a, it's a tube with an electrode inside and, a, and an electrode on the outside, so negative, positive. We've got live microbes inside the microbial fuel cell and uh, they naturally biodegrade the organic carbon in, uh, in urine. That's what happens inside. So looking at the schematic here, this is the bacterial anode, the negative terminal of the microbial fuel cell. There's a semi-permeable barrier and they open to a cathode. So microbes will um, take urine and they will feed on the organic carbon components of urine for their own biochemical energy and a, a respiratory pathway of those microbes results in electrons directly donated from the organisms to the electrode. When that electrode is connected to the counter electrode on the positive cathode side, electrons flow through. As long as we've got our cations moving through the semi-permeable barrier, they will react and complete the reaction. Fantastic. And how long will a cell last? Um, as any other biofilm uh, that's naturally occurring, it will last for as long as it's, it receives fewer. Okay. So, but it doesn't get fouled by the material? Or? Some of the um, more commonly used materials, they do get fouled. Uh, this is a very simplified design. One of the, one of the um, problematic materials in microbial fuel cells is the semi-permeable membrane. We haven't got a semi-permeable membrane. And what would be the average cost for a cell? Uh, at the moment, these um, ceramic-based cells, they're costing us about one uh, British pound as a prototype, but one can only imagine how low the cost will be when it gets mass manufacture. So for a private person, would they be able to set this up? Uh, and how competitive could that be? compared to cost of electricity? Cost of electricity, that's something we, we would be looking at in the two-year program. It's how to miniaturize further the microbial fuel cells, uh, increase the power output from the same footprint, and therefore help with the economics. But um, at the moment, this is, this is now giving us milliwatts of power. So yeah, there's, a, there's a, bit of, uh, a bit of development to be done. Thank you very much.